क्वेश्चन सिक्स सेज दैट थ्री कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स एड अप टू फिफ्टी वन वॉट आर दीज इंटीजर्स सो फर्स्ट लेट स्टार्ट बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ थ्री कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स कंजेक्यूटिव मीन्स वन आफ्टर द अदर सो थ्री कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स वुड बी फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक सेवन एट नाइन सो दीज आर थ्री कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स और टेक थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन दीज आर ऑल्सो थ्री कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स बट वी हैव टू फाइंड थ्री कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स विच एड अप टू फिफ्टी वन सो वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन स्टार्ट बाय अज्यूमिंग द स्मॉलेस्ट ऑफ दोज इंटीजर्स टू बी अ सर्टन वेरिएबल सो लेट्स अज्यूम दैट द स्मॉलेस्ट ऑफ द थ्री कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स इज x. Now, what will be the other two integers in terms of x? So, for example, if the smallest integer is seven, then the next integer is seven plus one, and the third integer is seven plus two. So, in terms of x, we can write the second integer or the middle integer as x plus one, and the third integer, the last integer, as x plus Two. So basically, what we have is we we have written basically th the three consecutive integers as x, x plus one, and x plus two. Now we need to make use of the fact that these three integers add up to fifty one. So the sum of these three integers, the sum of x and x plus one and x plus two, this sum should be equal to fifty one. And this gives us an e equation in x that we can now solve. So let's do that. we have x x and x so that's 3x and we have 1 and 2 that's 3 so we get 3x plus 3 is equal to 51 now let's take this plus 3 and transpose it to the right side so we will get 3x is equal to 51 and minus 3 so 51 minus 3 is 48 and now we have this 3x here so we need to get rid of this 3 So let's divide both sides of the equation by three. So we will get x on the left side and on the right side we have this forty-eight. So forty-eight by three, that is equal to sixteen. So we get x is equal to sixteen. All right. Now we have found the value of x, and that will give us the three integers immediately. So the smallest integer is x or sixteen. The next integer is x plus one or seventeen. and the third integer is x plus 2 or 18 so the three consecutive integers we wanted to find are 16 17 and 18 and we can verify that this answer is correct if we calculate the sum 16 plus 17 plus 18 we will find that this will be 51 so that completes question number 6 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers